Alfred, what's going on? Ah, it's them gnomes. Ruddy little beasts are ruining my pumpkins. Speaking of which, would you like some first-hand experience dealing with a gnome infestation? I could use your help. creatures. Today, you're gonna meet a nasty piece of work. No. Ugly, ill-tempered, and underground dwelling. These fellas ain't the most dangerous beasts, but they do pose a serious pest problem for your average garden. The truth is, a horde of them been menacing the pumpkin patch just this morning. And that brings us to the name lesson. But next week, pumpkin. Right, let's get to it. Again. Oh, it looks like there's some sort of commotion in Hagrid's pumpkin patch. We've got to help out. Hagrid would be so upset if those pumpkins got spoiled. Ventus. Expulso.
What's the matter, Kevin? You look like you're about to vomit. Professor McGonagall just told me my Vera Verto transfiguration is flawless. And that's... bad? Yes, because she's asked me to demonstrate it in front of the whole class tomorrow. What if I mess up? Everyone will laugh. I'll be humiliated. You'll be fine, Kevin. After all, you've practiced that spell hundreds of times. All you've got to do is relax. Easier said than done. I wish there was something I could do to ease your nerves. Well, you could help me brew a draft of peace. It's a potion that relieves anxiety and agitation, but we'll need some hellebore. I think there's some in the greenhouses. I'm sure Professor Longbottom wouldn't mind if we took some. I hope not. Any more butterflies in my stomach and I fear I might just float away. I'm not going to hold back! Not even a little? Don't give up before you've even... Centaur! Spike! Troll! Yes. What do you want? Now you're in trouble. Inflatus! Stupefy! Expulso! Atmosphere charm! Centaur! Swelling speed. Spiders. Witch snowballs. Acromantula love then of Centaur. Unicorn. Spiders. I'll get you for this. Spiders. Atmosphere charm. Centaur. Inflatus. Explosive! Portal! Spiders! Vintage! Don't get cocky. That win was just a fluke. But I suppose a deal is a deal. Hurry up and take the hellebore and get out. You don't have to tell us twice. Uh, come on, Kevin. We've got a draft of peace to brew. I brought the hellebore. Are you ready to start brewing? Actually, about that, I don't think I need the draw. Really? But what about your demonstration in front of the entire class? That duel with Cassandra made me realize that you're right. Everything I need to succeed is inside me. I just have to trust myself and let my muscle memory take over. Cassandra underestimated me. I don't blame her. I underestimated myself. And I recognize that now, in doing so, I was unknowingly sabotaging myself. I'm proud of you, Kevin. It really sounds like you've grown. I have, haven't I? I can't promise I'll never doubt myself. Or that speaking in front of large groups of people won't make me want to vomit. But at least I know I'll always have at least one person who believes in me. Aw, Kevin. Besides, Cassandra's more intimidating than my whole transfiguration class put together. 
If I can handle a duel with her, I think I can handle a little demonstration. That said, why don't you keep the hellebore and brew a draught apiece? You never know when it might come in handy. Thanks, Kevin. I think I'll do just that. Don't you have anything better to do? Um... Well then, why don't you go and study? You are a student after all, aren't you? The library is not that far, off you go! Dueling? I myself am a fan also. After all, who doesn't aspire to be a master duelist? I'd be very interested in seeing your duels, if I do say so myself.
Incendio! Niffler! Monster Book! <laughs> Centaur! Centaur! Corny evil. Now you're in trouble. Don't worry. I'll handle Spray this. Armus. Spelly Armus. I'll get you for this. Tebow's assault. <laughs> Monster book. Get out of the motor. Explosive. <laughs> Centaur. That did not go how I thought it would.
good timing. I need to run some errands, but I don't want to leave Fang alone. He's uh, not been acting himself, you see. Would you mind watching him till I get back? Of course not, Hagrid. You go. I'll see if I can't get him to calm down. Thanks. I'll be back as soon as I can. What's the matter, Fang? Are you not feeling well? I don't know what's gotten into you, Fang, but I'm sure it's nothing a treat won't fix. I'll bet Hagrid has some around here somewhere. Well, that was close. Not to mention out of character. Fang's never been aggressive towards me, or anyone else for that matter. Something must be bothering him. Perhaps, if I look around, I can find some clue as to what that something is. There are brightly colored pink feathers over here. What bird could have shed these? Those are the whoopers from yesterday's Care of Magical Creatures class. They must have gotten loose. If I remember correctly, their song can cause insanity. That's why you've been acting so odd, isn't it, Fang? I better take care of them before I fall under their song's effects too. of Disney. Uh -huh. Are you alright? Yeah, I think so. But I think poor Fang's been affected by the Fwoopa's song. Ah, nothing a few days rest won't fix. I'm just relieved you're safe. And sane. 
I got halfway to Hogsmeade, but I realized I forgot to reapply the silencing charm on the floopers I keep for care of magical creatures class. Silencing charm? Is that to prevent the floopers from driving anyone insane with their song? That's right. It has to be cast monthly or, well, you get this. That's one of the requirements for owning floopers. Normally, I'm more on top of it than this, but I've been so busy with a project of mine that I plumb forgot. Sorry, I should have recognized Fang's symptoms sooner. It's all right, Hagrid. No harm done. Yeah, thanks to you. If you hadn't stopped these whoopers, all of Hogwarts could have ended up like Fang. Fang and I are mighty grateful that you cleaned up after us, aren't we, Fang? <laughs>